Hello everyone, welcome back to the chemical engineering channel and as you know that we are covering the topic of mass balance these days and in this regard we are bringing the lecture number 4. In this lecture we will learn how to use Aspen and for example we are taking Aspen Heises to solve the mass balance material balance and in the previous lecture we have used WES engineering equation solver and now just for an example we will use Aspen to solve the material balance. For those who do not know about the Aspen, you can follow my second channel which is Aspen Tech channel Muhammad Hari Samayo. and if you know about the Aspen and you have learned Aspen then we can start from here. So I will first give the description of the video which is the introduction to Aspen Hysis which is uploaded on the second channel and you can learn Aspen from there and then you can come to this video and accordingly you can learn how to solve material balance accordingly so what we have to do we have to click on this new and accordingly we have to first select the components and we have to select the property package so we are taking water ethane system and for this system we will select fluid package as Peng Robinson for the problem statement and going to the simulation environment we will choose two systems today mixer and separator and very basic concepts related to the material balance will be solved over here now as a mixer suggests because we have solved various mixer problems by hand or using powerpoint slides but now we will solve these using aspen hysis so double clicking on it and we will follow the same procedure like labeling it as mixer F1 is the feed stream, F2 is the second feed stream to the mixer, there can be more than one streams, but obviously the outlet will be 1. And to complete the degree of freedom, it requires 4 parameters, out of temperature, pressure and vapor fraction, and if 2 of these specified, then flow rate and accordingly the composition. 25 degree centigrade, 1 bar, 100 kg mole per hour, and if we double click on it, we have to specify the mole fraction. So we are assuming a case in which we are mixing ethane and water and now we have pure water and ethane stream so we can say it as a pure water stream here in the system we do not know the flow rate of this stream and also we do not know the flow rate of this stream which is the final stream as we have already solved in our previous cases as well but obviously we need to specify the degree of freedom like 25 degree centigrade one bar and accordingly but we know the compositions over here that composition here is pure ethane clicking on ok and composition here is 50% water and 50% ethane so click on this ok so now it has computed the remaining parameters automatically which you obviously you would have also computing using total mass balance and component mass balance so the same concept of total mass balance that mass in should be equal to mass out and component mass balance that component fraction associated with the mass in should be equal to the component fraction associated with the mass out so you can see that 100 kg mole per hour or 3007 kg per hour of ethane is required to be mixed with 1802 kg per hour of water to produce 50 mole percent ethane and 50 mole percent water in the product stream and if we talk about the mass fraction then it is 37.47 percent water and 62.53 percent ethane in the system so that's how you solve material balance in Aspen Hysis. Let's take another example of separator that we install a separator over here. And what we do again, doing the required connections, this is F3 which is feed, this is P2 product and P3 as the product. And let's say that it's a multi-system like vapor liquid system, 0.5, 1 bar, 100 kg mole per hour, 0.54 ethane and 0.54 water and click on this ok and automatically it has solved this one is pure water which is at the bottom and this one is pure ethane which is at the top so accordingly if you know the inlet conditions only you can also predict the outlet conditions obviously separator using the principle of separation and accordingly you can see that pure ethane is obtained from the top and pure water is obtained from the bottom so that is an other problem statement which you have solved using Aspen. So there are multiple problems which you can solve like you can see the heat exchanger problem, the valve problems, the distillation column and there are various problems which you can solve easily using Aspen Hysis. So that's how you solve the problems related to the mass balance from the simple problem statements to the complex problem statements 
using S1. This time we have just focused on the mass balance. In the upcoming videos, we will be solving energy balance, thermodynamics and so on. And accordingly, you can see the mass in should be equal to mass out and the same concept is applied. The component flow in should be equal to the component flow out. So that's it from this lecture. Thank you so much. Please do watch, like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Also click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel. Till then, it's goodbye. Stay tuned for more videos.